we all get to a point where we just maybe are just sick of the sight of everything we have and we want little changes that will cost a fortune but can make quite a great bit of impact. And I think if we do get quite bored with our surroundings and you have opted, as I have, for a very neutral and comfortable design, you need to look for a couple of things that are gonna pop a few aspects of design and just to refresh your eyes. And it could even be a case of, I'm such a big fan of, if you don't have a budget, but you've got plenty of time on your hands, is to take the accessories from one room and put them into another room and give things a new lease of life. So for instance, you could take some cushions, my must have item, from a guest bedroom or from your uh, family TV room or from anywhere really and swap them over. So these used to be on a guest bedroom and I put them into the living room. And luckily with the quick change of a few dynamic fabrics, you can have a complete change. It's a bit like I'm wearing a navy top and a navy gilet or body warmer. Yes, this is padded, it's not all me. And just a little bit of something at the neck in fashion gives you a different look. So let's pop around this flat that I designed, oh, probably about four or five years ago. And look how I've just rang the changes to create in an inexpensive way a new look. So in this case, I inherited this apartment to design. And it was a kind of turnkey package and it was all very neutral wood greys and a neutral kitchen. But what we did was, um, we actually inherited that wallpaper, but it was great because it gave me the basis to do an impactful range of finishes that could then add some quick changes. And a lot of these are just shop bought. So a pop of a cushion there just brings life into what was a very grey environment. But a pop of funky colour onto a rug on the floor, a little cushion, a little bit of a floral in the corner there, and you created a lovely little area which would really just give your eye a little bit of a refreshing detail. Thinking about storage and where we keep things are really, really important. So storage in corner areas. This was a kind of funny shaped room because it was built in a curve. So I did inherit a sort of funny corner there, but ideal to create a lovely storage unit. And this is good. You could have had this in the hall. You can move things around. Think about things you can move around as well. Bedside tables, nests of tables, things you can easily change to give your room a new lease of life. But get your knickknacks out, which is always, always a good piece of advice in my book, and get them out on display and you could change these things around. I actually had these little baskets in the bathroom um, and also had them in a little girl's room, but they're equally nice for a lovely sort of rattan feel, bringing out the texture of the wood, bringing out the texture of the sofa to really create a little pop of interest in the corner. So if you are feeling a little bit blue and you want a little change, just move your knickknacks around. So a few pops of color, a few inexpensive buys, and you really can make a big difference. So storage in display and also storage to keep things up and out of the way is a great idea of keeping everything feeling very, very restful. So storage units like this are ideal to hide a multitude of sins. But you'll see very easily what I've done here is because the TV is the main focal point in this room, is in that little corner there, you've got some chevrons, you've got some geometrics, these curtains were made for me and they've stood the test of time. Again, my favorite wave track where they just simply glide along the wall or the ceiling line and your pop of geometric repeated onto the sofa there with your additional 
cushions brought from another room and maybe your rug brought from a bedroom can just give a new lease of life. Another good way of introducing a little bit of detail to keep you invested in your home is lighting. And I'm a big fan of, as we know, feature lighting. Crystal was very, very fashionable and still is when I did this apartment. But these stunning side lamps, which are standard lamps in this lovely white high gloss finish here with a simple linen shade, ties in this little seating area here. So what we've tried to do is bring in the texture with the high gloss, which is really great and durable, and it blends in perfectly into the look for the kitchen. So if you're having a dinner party, you could move that table out into the center of the kitchen area. But equally, it's nice and open plan, very, very simple to bring those high tech finishes and little pops of definition coming into the texture of the chair, the texture of the carpet, and on to the hard edge floor area, which is really durable. And it means that when this is part of the room, it still blends. But this is a good little rule of thumb as well. If you want to change your kitchen, but don't have a huge budget and you like the doors, you could maybe just change the worktop. And this is a melamine worktop. And what it does do is it pulls the whole look together. It gives a lovely blend of a super open, open plan living space. So today's top tip is about using accessories or contrast finishes of things that you have around the home and even move your curtains from room to room. Give things a new lease of life because the decisions you made still stand the test of time. So that's the open plan living area and I think it works super well. Now, in hallways, we're always thinking about bouncing light, moving images, making little vignettes or areas for storage. And this shop bought little unit here is perfect. A couple of storage baskets for shoes, mail. It's just a great little break of pace to well, basically, it's a dumping ground, isn't it? All need these dumping grounds or little areas for storage, and they're so important to get right. I honestly have them all over my house because we all need somewhere to put keys, magazines, shopping when you arrive home. But it takes me back into the hallway area, and it's so important to get the hallway right. And the use of mirrors here and looking down the hall is excellent for creating the great first impression when people come to your home. Now, these mirrors were actually in other bedrooms and I've moved them around. And hopefully when you see the reuse of them, you wouldn't think that they shouldn't have been there in the first place. And even images like this, again, a shop bought canvas, which I popped a frame round. It's got a watercolour effect, but this is a, just one print, but it gives a lovely feeling of the outside in and a sort of talking point and a break of pace into the hallway. But moving into kids' bedrooms or second bedrooms or any bedroom, now this was a great use of space. Now this was originally two wooden black single beds. So, the bedside cabinets still work really well, but what you can do is by taking this bedside cabinet and this bedside cabinet and moving that bedside cabinet to the other side and pushing the two beds together, you then could have a double bed headboard. And what I've done here is I've used this pop of color on the cushion here and repeated it into the buttons on the headboard and it gives it a lovely funky feel. So this is a great use of space for what is a kid's bedroom, but could equally be a lovely guest bedroom with some fun and funky colors. And equally, as I've said, you could take these cushions and move them through into the living room and it gives everything a new lease of life. I'm all about making sure that no matter what you do in interior design, 
that it has longevity because we don't really have the time or the budget to continually change our homes. Although that is my job. We always have to look and make sure we've got the best of what use we have. But we don't always have to have the budget to completely change things. And little tweaks here and there can be so therapeutic. And even looking through into what was the master bedroom of this apartment here, Oh, me in the mirror there. Mirror doors are a great idea for, especially if they're not opposite the bed. I'm not a big fan of mirrors opposite the bed or above your head um, because in Feng Shui, it's meant to deflect all your passion and energy out of the room. But if it's slightly offset, what it does do for this room is it makes the room feel double the size. Great for getting dressing as well. And just like in the living room, where you have a little ottoman space, we've popped an ottoman here, which is great for storage, great for popping on your shoes, pulling on your tights and socks. But again, what I've done here is taken a range of accessories. And this is actually a very similar fabric to what's in the living room and what's in the spare bedroom. And we've done a contrast cushion and another feature detail, which could go through next door as well. And in this case, the headboard here has got a darker gray button. So what it's doing here is it's bringing the contrast in and the combination of colors of your lamp shades and lamp bases, which could equally go in the room next door. This is actually a movable feast. I could actually spend time in this room or in this apartment and change everything around to give a completely different look. Which is what is the name of the game, longevity. We have another lovely visual of bringing the outside in, storage, and just using what we have. And shop bought cushions and some made cushions, really just ring the changes Lovely little pug dog there. It's like my niece's dog, Nala. So again, we've got little stories happening in the corner. Change those accessories. Don't be bored. What you have can have a new lease of life and move them round and round. And even as I've done in many, many jobs, just changing the shades on lamps or changing the bases from room to room really gives you an absolute fresh appearance so don't be bored with your interior love what you have your home is your haven make sure you love it and you love everything in it because if you don't use what you have you'll just be bored with things and what you have is really amazing so what my what my top tip from today would be is if you're at home and you're feeling a little bit blue have a look at the accessories you have and think about moving them around the house because in that way a new broom will sweep clean and you will have an amazing fresh appearance from what you already have.